Welcome back for week five, starting with row 58. We're going to be working along the short end of our work and following the pattern that was started at the end of last part, we're going to be making a small ripple pattern along the short end. Color placement is entirely up to you on this section, so have fun with that and uh, make your shawl, your wrap unique. So starting in the corner before a short side, we're going to start with a double crochet two together in the first two stitches. So we wanna find that middle or that corner half double crochet to start our double crochet two together. So we insert and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three. For that double crochet two together. Make a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. One and two. And then in this next stitch, we'll make a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet all in that same stitch. Oops. We'll back post double crochet around the next three. Now we've already worked this stitch here, so be careful to start on the next stitch for your back post. So three back post double crochet. We'll skip the half double crochet two together. And starting in the next stitch, we'll make three more back post double crochet. One, two, and three back post double crochet. And then in this in this chain two space from last round, we will place a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And that's our first repeat. So starting with <clears throat> this first stitch here past that, that chain two space, we'll make three back post double crochet. One, two, and three. We'll skip the half double crochet two together from last round. Three more back post double crochet. And then in that chain two space, we'll make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you can go ahead and repeat that down the short side and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Work your way down the side, you'll have 11 of these peaks where those chain two spaces are. You'll work three back post double crochet after that 11th one, skip the half double crochet two together, three more back post double crochet, and then in this next stitch you'll place that double crochet chain two and double crochet for our 12th peak. And then around the next two stitches, we will place back post double crochet. And then in the last <clears throat> two stitches, so it'll be the first half double crochet of the corner, we'll make the first part of the double crochet two together, and then in that corner half double crochet, we will pick up another loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving three loops, and pull through three for our double crochet two together in those last two stitches of the side. So you'll have these 12 peaks to form a small ripple on the short end of our shawl. 
Okay, and then you can chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Just gives us some room to turn and begin on the next side. So row 59, we will do the double crochet two together. So I'm going to start by with a starting double crochet. So I lift my loop a little bit longer to yarn over with the loop, insert into the top of the double crochet two together to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and into the next stitch, pull up a loop again, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through all three for a double crochet two together in these first two stitches. We'll double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that chain two space. So in the top of our peak, we'll place these double crochet with a chain two in between. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. We'll skip these next two stitches and double crochet in the next. Now you want to be careful when you make this double crochet that we don't have our yarn stretched and make it really loose or we'll have the big gap form there. There will be a little gap but we want to snug in our yarn, sort of pull them together so our stitch doesn't stretch to close in that valley. So double crochet in these next three after we skip the two. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that chain two space. So you can continue that down this row, remembering to double crochet in three, skip two, double crochet in the next three. And then you can make the peak with that double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you can go ahead and work down the row and I'll meet you just before the end of this row. So after your 11th peak, you have done the three double crochet, skip two, three double crochet. We'll make another double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that last chain space. We will double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two, and then the last two stitches, we work a double crochet two together again. Row 60 and 61 are a repeat of our row 59. So you can go ahead and work two more rows the same as we did 59 and you can see how that ripple pattern is really starting to show up across the end. Row 62, we will double crochet two together in the first two stitches. back post double crochet around the next two double crochet chain two double crochet in the chain two space at the peak back post double around three one two, and three. Skip those next two stitches, back post double around the next three. So it's very similar to our previous rows, only we're working back post double instead of the double crochet in between the peaks. So continue to work that down the row 
And that is our set of rows that you need to know for this part five. Reminder, at the end of the row, after your 12th peak, you back post double around two stitches before we end the row with the double crochet two together. You will continue to repeat rows 59 through 62. The pattern suggests up to row 74. You can decide how many repeats you want of this these four rows and then we want to end with row 75 which is suggested or whichever row after you've got your number of repeats you want to end with a row 59. So a back post row and then end with one more row of the row 59. So you can go ahead and work that on both short ends of your shawl until you're happy with how many ever many repeats the length of your shawl and then I'll see you back here next week for our final part part six.